The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is returning to Bravo for its 13th installment, but it will certainly look a bit different than before, with many of its popular stars having big goodbye to the series to pursue different endeavors. As the cameras are officially up and rolling, let's revisit some of the biggest names to have come out of the show and what they're up to lately. Taylor Armstrong was one of the founding stars of the series when it premiered in 2010. She remained a housewife for the first three seasons and revisited as a friend many times over the years. She relocated to Orange County, California and married attorney John Bluer in 2014, with whom she appeared on VH1's Couples Therapy the same year. In 2021, Taylor filmed season two of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Ex-Wives Club. This year, she will join the cast of The Real Housewives of Orange County, making her the only housewife so far to successfully cross over to another franchise. Camille Grammer has been on and off of Beverly Hills since the very beginning, dropping by occasionally to stir up some drama. In 2013, she underwent a hysterectomy after receiving a stage 2 endometrial cancer diagnosis. Being a cancer survivor herself, she works to raise awareness of all malignancies, from promoting screenings to discussing cannabis-related medicines. Camille tied the knot with attorney David C. Meyer in 2018. That same year, her Malibu house was destroyed by the fatal Lucy fire. The 54-year-old who lost her mom, Maureen Wilson, to cancer last December, is rumored to be part of season 13 later this year. The news began spreading when she was spotted filming with other former housewives, Denise Richards and Kim Richards. Adrienne Malouf was one of the original cast members, but abruptly left in the third edition after a huge secret was revealed about her family, that she used surrogacy to conceive her twin sons. Following her time on the dramatic series and her public split from the renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Paul Nassif, the TV personality took a step back from the spotlight to raise her children. As the only daughter of billionaire entrepreneur George J. Malouf Sr., Adrienne is the co-owner of various business holdings of Malouf companies, including a stake in the Sacramento Kings, the Vegas Golden Knights, the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, among others. Kim Richards participated in the first five installments in a full-time capacity. Since then, she only did cameos and was last seen in season 10. Following two arrests in 2015, she's been working on maintaining her sobriety. Kim is looking forward to helping her sisters, Kyle Richards and Kathy Hilton, who were feuding, to reconcile during her return in the upcoming edition. However, she stated that she doesn't want to return full-time, as she recently welcomed her third grandchild and wants to prioritize her family. The undisputed OG of the franchise, Lisa Vanderpump, was a regular fixture, staying for nine seasons before her departure in 2019. The restaurant mogul continues to grow her business empire, expanding her lucrative and impressive roster of restaurants and bars. In 2019, Lisa, who was already the owner of 36 establishments across Los Angeles and London, opened Vanderpump Cocktail Garden in Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, which was followed by Vanderpump a Paris in the Paris Las Vegas Hotel in 2022. Lisa still stars in her spinoff, Vanderpump Rules, which kicked off its 10th season in February. Viewers first met Brandy Glanville in 2011 as a recurring guest before she became a main cast member on the third edition in 2013. She then appeared through season 5, later only returning as a friend. Brandy continues to have cameos on various reality TV shows, including the likes of The Celebrity Apprentice, My Kitchen Rules, The Traitors, and the UK and US editions of Celebrity Big Brother, to name a few. She returned to Bravo for season 4 of The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip and found herself in Broil in yet another scandal. It was reported that Brandy's co-star, Carolyn Manzo, claimed the former inappropriately touched her without her consent while they were in Morocco this January. Brandy hit back at the life-ruining allegations with her attorneys even sending a letter to Warner Brothers, demanding that it release audio and videotapes that, they claim, will prove that she didn't sexually harass Caroline. Mom to supermodels Gigi and Bella Hadid, Yolanda Hadid joined the series in 2012, which chronicled the demise of her marriage to David Foster, as well as her struggle with Lyme disease. She she ultimately left in 2016 following their divorce. Since her housewife days, Yolanda has kept busy and how. She starred in Project Runway in addition to hosting Making a Model with Yolanda Hadid. The former model walked in the off-white show during Paris Fashion Week alongside her model daughters in March 2020. Last year, she also served as a judge on the 13th edition of Holland's Next Top Model. Actress Eileen Davidson was a main cast member for four years starting in 2014. While she's no longer on reality TV, Eileen continues to grow credits as an actress. She since starred in the films The Last Sharknado, It's About Time, Seven Days to Vegas, and the miniseries Three-Way Mirror. She's still a fixture on The Young and the Restless, where she plays Ashley Abbott, a character she originated. Often considered one of the least impressive cast members, Carlton Gabia got the title of a housewife only for the fourth season back in 2013. The TV personality and her husband David finalized their divorce in September 2018, two years after they announced their separation. During that period, she was also sued by her 
her housekeeper, who claimed Carlton physically abused her during the duration of her employment, which the star denied. She popped back on Bravo in 2020, starring in an episode of Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles to sell her mansion. Former beauty queen Joyce Gerard de Ohoven joined the cast of the fourth season in 2013. Her time on the show was short-lived, as she was fired after butting heads with fellow castmate Brandy Glanville. She renewed her wedding vows to producer Michael Ohoven in 2017. Although her stint was short and not so sweet, Joyce has been doing just fine, pursuing a variety of different projects. The Puerto Rico native launched her own skincare brand, Joyce Miracle Elixir Collection, which includes skin and hair oils. She's the founder and CEO of an entertainment production called Infinity Media. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.